This video focuses on the small and large versions of the standard SRC valve. The SRC seat valve is used in the processing of products in sanitary industries. The SRC is operated by compressed air, and this, combined with its few simple moving parts, make it an extremely reliable valve. The SRC valve is characterized by 1. Ease of maintenance, 2. Interchangeability with other seat valves, 3. Options for different process demands, and 4. Size options to meet all flow requirements. To prevent adverse process stops, customers must service the SRC valve regularly. We will demonstrate here how the SRC is dismantled and reassembled. First, maintenance of the small version of the SRC valve. The tools shown here are those required for this. Supply compressed air to the actuator. Loosen and remove the lower clamp. Release the compressed air. Lift out the valve with actuator, bonnet and upper valve body. Pull out the seal ring. Remove the clip assembly. Remove the valve plug. Loosen and remove the upper clamp. Remove the actuator with bonnet from the upper valve body. Remove the lip seal. Remove the screw. Remove the O-ring. Remove the seal rings from the middle piece. Fit the seal ring and lubricate. Position the middle piece on the stem. Fit the other seal ring and lubricate. Apply Loctite to the thread of the screw.
Lubricate the lip seal and fit it in the upper valve body. Position the actuator with bonnet on the upper valve body. Fit the upper clamp and tighten. Fit the valve plug. Fit the clip assembly. Fit the seal ring correctly in the lower valve body. Position the actuator with bonnet and upper valve body in the lower valve body. Supply compressed air to the actuator. Fit the lower clamp and tighten. Release the compressed air. Rotate the cylinder to loosen the locking wire. Remove the locking wire. Remove the cylinder. Remove the piston. Remove the spring assembly. Pull out the O-ring. Pull off the O-ring. Remove the O-rings from the bonnet. Fit the O-ring on the piston and lubricate.
Fit the O-ring in the cylinder and lubricate. Fit the spring assembly on the piston. Fit the cylinder on the piston. Fit the O-rings on the bonnet and lubricate. Fit the actuator on the bonnet. Fit the locking wire through the slot in the cylinder and into the hole in the bonnet. Rotate the cylinder 360 degrees. Rotate the cylinder a further 180 degrees to fix the top and bottom air connections on the same side. Prepare the actuator valve assembly by supplying compressed air to the actuator. Fit the plastic ring of the clip assembly on the actuator piston rod. Release the compressed air. Now we will demonstrate maintenance of the large version. The tools shown are required for this maintenance. The maintenance of the lower clamp, lower valve body and plug is done in the same way as for the small version of the SRC. Unscrew and remove the valve plug. Remove the seal ring. Loosen and remove the upper clamp. Lift out the actuator with bonnet. Remove the seal ring. Fix the actuator to make dismantling easier. Either use a trestle or, as shown here, clamp the bonnet to the maintenance table.
Remove the air plug. Rotate the cylinder to loosen the locking wire. Remove the locking wire. Lift off the cylinder. Remove the O-ring. Remove the guide ring. Remove the spring assembly. Pull off the O-ring. Remove the guide ring. Pull off the O-ring. Remove the piston from the bonnet. Pull out the O-ring. Remove the guide ring. Unclamp the bonnet. Pull out the lip seal. Remove the guide ring. Fit the guide ring. Fit the lip seal. Lubricate. Clamp the bonnet to the maintenance table. Fit the guide ring. Fit the O-ring. Lubricate. Fit the piston in the bonnet.
slide on the O-rings. Apply some grease in the guide ring groove. Fit the guide ring. Lubricate the guide ring and O-rings. Fit the guide ring in the cylinder. Fit the O-ring. Lubricate. Fit the spring assembly on the piston. Fit the cylinder on the piston. Fit the locking wire through the slot in the cylinder and into the hole in the bonnet. Rotate the cylinder 360 degrees. Rotate the cylinder a further 180 degrees to fix the top and bottom air connections on the same side. Screw in the air plug. Unclamp the bonnet with actuator. Slide on the seal ring and lubricate. The large version actuator is now ready for valve actuator assembly. As shown here, the SRC valve is very easy to service and, when this is carried out properly, you will always have a valve with the following characteristics. 1. Ease of maintenance. 2. Interchangeability with other seat valves. 3. Options for different process demands. And 4. Size options to meet all flow requirements.